All right, so it's finally time to talk about a new stock on my channel. The company is Circle, which trades under the ticker CND. However, because this is actually a SPAC, the ticker symbol will eventually change to CRCL, so be on the lookout for that. And Circle is actually one of the biggest companies in the cryptocurrency sector that was founded in 2013 by Jeremy Allaire and Sean Neville. They are a payments and treasury infrastructure company, which essentially means they are going to be functioning like a bank, except instead of using traditional US dollars, they will be using the digital form of that, USDC, which actually brings me to my next point. If you're someone who's never heard of the company Circle before, I think there's a pretty high likelihood that you've heard of one of their digital currencies that they've taken part in. Circle issues and maintains a stable coin known as USD coin, also known as USDC. You know, it's that digital coin that commands an extremely high interest rate of 8% just for holding it on BlockFi's platform, which I left a link in the description of this video if you give a sh And in simple terms, all a stablecoin is, is a form of currency that attempts to peg its market value to some tangible external reference. And in this case, USDC is pegged one to one by the US dollar. <sighs> Whereas a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin is not a stablecoin because it is literally backed by Nothing. And one of the founders of Circle, Jeremy Allaire, mentioned that Circle's decision to go public is twofold. First, Circle wants to capitalize on the growth of stablecoins. I think that's a given. Every company wants to make more profits. And second, Circle wants to increase the transparency around its stablecoin. And honestly, I think this is great because let's face it, if you ask some random person on the street what USDC or stablecoins are, a vast majority of people will have no idea what you're talking about. So I think as time goes on, we can continue to see this increase in popularity among cryptocurrencies and decentralized finance, and providing people with access to knowledge and open transparency around these new forms of money is going to be really important in shaping both knowledge and perception around cryptocurrency. And this is crucial because as of June 2021, there are about $24.1 billion of USDC in circulation. And having a currency that is pegged one to one by a traditional fiat currency is actually a good thing because cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and even ADA are honestly too volatile to be using for some serious business transactions. Because if company A decides to send a million dollars in Bitcoin to company B, by the time company B actually gets their Bitcoin, Elon Musk will have already sent out a tweet and boom, Bitcoin lost half its value already. So you can kind of see why having stable coins like USDC is important because as the name suggests, they're quite stable and not subject to all the volatility you see in other cryptocurrencies. And another important aspect with Circle is that if you're a bank, you definitely need to have partnerships. So I think it's pretty awesome to see that Circle has already partnered with huge companies like Visa and MasterCard to help facilitate all of the transactions that will be occurring on their platform. And on top of this, you have banks like Goldman Sachs, which is already heavily intertwined with the United States government backing Circle. And you have companies like Coinbase who are currently working with Circle. And in fact, it was actually both Circle and Coinbase that worked together to create USDC. So by using USDC as leverage, Circle has been able to create different products to help other businesses. A couple of which are Circle Account, which provides businesses with an account to store funds, make and receive payments, and generate interest through holding digital currencies on the blockchain. And another notable product that they offer is their Circle API, which is software that companies can use to help harness the power of Circle's platform to automate and integrate financial transactions on each business's platform. And remember, you can bet that Circle is gaining interest on holding all of their USDC. So the more money that flows into USDC over time, 
the more money that Circle is going to have on their balance sheet, which in turn they can use to invest and generate themselves even more money. So as you should be able to tell, Circle isn't just some small fish company looking to make a quick buck, as they've already had plenty of big partnerships and currently hold a pretty significant influence over the stablecoin market. And with their platform that they're offering to businesses, their intention is to create this central hub where businesses all over the world can send transactions at the speed of the internet without having to wait the typical two to three business days with traditional banking systems. And honestly, I believe over time, USDC will become the most important stablecoin. And at the time of recording this video, USDC is ranked 10th in terms of market cap, which is still behind the stablecoin Tether. However, being that Tether has a history of not being very transparent and somewhat sketchy with the inner workings of the coin, which I won't be getting into in this video, I firmly believe that USDC will be able to knock Tether off and take the crown. And it's my belief that both Circle and USDC are going to play a huge role in how businesses and governments will handle financial transactions in the future. And yeah guys, that'll do it for the video. Thanks to those of you who made it to the end, and I'll catch you next time.